All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. This is life, and today we're going on another adventure. We're heading out to James Lake Campground in Chilliwack, BC. Have a nice little camp cookout. I'm gonna hit up these four by four trails. Hopefully this Subi can make it, but that's what an adventure's for. See what happens. Woo. I said, you think this much clearance will make it to the top? I fuck, I see less than that up there, dude. I see the guy earlier today with an infinity. Oh, this road is pretty bumpy. The Subi's got uh, Blizzak tires, brand new Blizzak tires. Bought them maybe three, four months ago. So those are my off-roading tires. Uh, man at the front of the gate said I should have enough clearance. About halfway up, I believe. And I'm hoping that's the way, there was two different ways to go. I chose this way. I feel pretty good about it. Okay, so I picked a spot. I don't know if it's actually gonna be the one, but it seems like there's just a whole bunch of different nice, taken care of camping spots and everything's free here. And so I'm just gonna go for a little bit of a walk. We'll see if we end up staying in this exact spot. I see a lot of people camping over there right on the shore. That kind of looks tempting. <laughs> All right, so the vibes are sweet here. I'm loving it. There's a very nice little river down there. A lot of other people camping and fishing. It's beautiful, the fact that this is all free. It's one of the nicest kept camping sites I've ever seen, and it's free. But I haven't found a camping spot just yet. There's lots of little spots up there. But I want something that's a little bit secluded, and I can do my thing, I can vlog, I can show you guys what I'm doing with my steak my setup is we'll find the spot we'll find the spot don't know where I'm going but it always works out we're gonna find the perfect I'm gonna manifest the perfect camping spot the perfect camp spots gonna be amazing I'm gonna be like whoa it's gonna be unreal I'm gonna let this Jeep by me cuz he's a Jeep she's a bumpy ride it's gonna be a bumpy ride Parked in the middle of the puddle. That's nice. So, yes, it's right beside a road, but I think the gold is down here. And this is what you get when you camp at Jones Lake, British Columbia. You go off the beaten path. Didn't know if I was gonna make it, but I made it. I made it. Gorgeous. Something I just thought of, I forgot my friggin' camping chair. But would camping really be camping if you remembered everything? I think you gotta forget at least a couple things, right? That's how camping works. We're gonna get ourselves all set up here cook up a steak, get the fire going. Get the fire going, then cook up the steak. Got some potatoes. Only got a couple uh, drinky poos. Shout out to 
camping with Steve. I got a couple step twos that we're gonna have later. And it's gonna be a good night. This found exactly what I was looking for. It's beautiful. Time to make a fire and get everything set up for the steak because this guy's hungry. Firewood, check. She's a sharp one. Relatively dry. to get my lighter as Brody Moss would say from YBS we got fire baby All right. we got fire baby Woo. I'm honestly so hungry you know whenever you have you haven't eaten in a long time and you're like starting to lose it a little bit I'm at that point so once I get these steaks, oh boy, it's gonna be another level. Let me know, whoever's watching this, do you have any favorite camping spots? Do you like to camp in a tent or car? Let me know in the comment section below. Next, we have to prepare the potatoes. Got tin foil, got potatoes, salt and pepper, garlic powder, some seasoning salt and some olive oil. But you know what that calls for? A little step two. Shout out to Camping with Steve. He's from Alberta. I used to live in Edmonton. Cheers. Cut up some potatoes, and then we're gonna marinate them, shake them around. You guys keep an eye on the fire, make sure uh, she doesn't go out. Got my nice cutting surface, shout out to my girlfriend. Cut in a quarter. Boom, blop, bloom, blop, blop. She too far gone? Nope, put her in there. A little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper. Thank you, Siobhan, for giving me this uh, recipe. She's made it before and they were delicious. I don't know what this is. It smells good. I'll put these in because they're gonna take a little bit longer, I believe. Got ourselves a boneless ribeye triple A beef with some Montreal steak spice. Boom. Like that. Like that. They're over top of. Uh, coals here. Ooh, am I excited to eat. And while I'm cooking, I get this view over here. Unbelievable. Essentially, car camping, guys. Get outside, go have fun. You know, for me, it's, I wanna push myself just to get out there and do random things, go adventure. All right, I think the steak is ready. I think a medium rare. As are cooked. They're steamy. Well. about it. All 
right guys, it's getting a little bit darker, but this is the setup. I got a few lights going on right now that I just purchased. Head goes there, like so. Oh. All right, so this is what I got. This is what I got. Tonight we've got, we upgraded, we've got some nice lighting, but I forgot a pillow. Figure it out. But I'm six foot and I can fit in here. It's relatively cold outside, but these uh, insulated window coverings and even this keeps a lot of the cold out. And I'm gonna sleep like a baby. I always sleep really well when I'm out in nature. I don't know about you guys, but. Wham! Good morning, everybody. It is the next day, but uh, I couldn't leave you guys off without seeing the beautiful view of Jones Lake, British Columbia. The clouds have cleared up. Check this view out. So, I absolutely recommend it. Get outside, go have fun, because this, this is life. Peace. <laughs>